Hi YouTube! There is a question that is bugging me lately. Are pay to win video games here to stay? Now, if you love video games as much as I do, you are likely as upset as I am that it seems like every year we don't get more games where you pay once and you have the whole game. That's it, you pay the game. It's a full game, it's functioning, enjoy. Do you remember that time where you bought a story-driven video game? Like The Witcher 3, a game that gets you so immersed into the story that you end up playing 200 hours of a car game before going back to your main quest. Games where you can forget Get that life exists. You get so deeply involved in this scenery and characters and whatever is happening that you just don't want to stop playing it. And the whole pay once for a game isn't just for story driven games. You can also do that on competitive games. Games that you're going to spend thousands of hours practicing moves that are just going to make you one day think, why didn't I turn pro? Until you get into a pay to win game, a game where skills aren't necessary because the opponent might not have the talent that you have, but he has endless trunks of money and it becomes hopeless because no matter what you do they have better items you know they're gonna have better hp regen accuracy damage whatever it is that makes them help on that particular game so he's gonna call you noob ggs and you're just gonna rush for your credit card because you're pretty sure that if you had the items that he had you would be him easily so yeah pay to win video games the ultimate game model not exclusive but very prominent in mobile games, looks like it's here to stay. Diablo Immortal is the game of the moment with this pay to win model. A game where allegedly you have to sell your house for 5 star gems. And still, Diablo is allegedly making more than 1 million dollars per day. But why? Yes, no one is obligating you to put any kind of money into these games. Most of them are free to play. Other than Diablo Immortal, you have, you know, Clash Royale, Ragnarok. And to be honest, you're gonna have a pretty fun experience if you just never spend a single dollar on it. But they are pay to win. Now is that a problem? As with most things in life, it depends. If you're new to pay to win, what was the rock you were sleeping under? Or maybe you just found my video for an essay. Because pay to win video games have been here forever and they are not anywhere near to stop. It is important to note that there's a big difference between pay money to win better items and pay money to skip the line. You know, skip the line when can exchange money for over 10 hours of gameplay. And I'm okay with those because not everyone nowadays has time to play the whole game. Maybe they have jobs and after the job they just want to play a video game and the video game gives an option for them. That's cool. It, they're not winning over anyone. They're probably going to be noobs just with the same armory or whatever item that you have. But when you design your game to be a big casino, a casino where you either can gamble your money for virtual items or never gamble and probably never get those big powerful items over there. And when you do pay, you gamble for maybe the chance of one of those items. So you don't even know the odds of actually, it, it, you're not buying the item, you're buying the chance for maybe getting that thing. Will it stop though? Probably not. A lot of players have endless chunks of money that they're willing to gamble for that. So, you know, kudos for them. The developers are happy, I guess. People spend money on skins that don't give any advantage other than make your gun look like it came straight out of the Barbie movie. So why would people not pay for something that's gonna make your character better? The gaming model of microtransactions that started in early 90s in Double Dragon 3 is here to stay. It's like pre-ordering video games. Will people stop pre-ordering video games? And by people, I mean me. Sure, I might have said to myself, after Cyberpunk 2077, I'm not pre-ordering again. But there I was a couple of weeks ago just pre-ordering another game. And did the game came out perfect and without bugs? No, it did not. The same goes for pay to win video games. People are not going to stop playing just because other players have all the items. They're still going to spend hundreds of hours playing the game, perfecting their craft, and they're just going to understand that there's going to be a point where they're not going to be beating the guys that have better items in there. And that's just, that's just it because the other guys, they have endless trunks of money. Now I'm asking you this. Is pay to win bad? Sure. Although it isn't pay to win, one of my favorite games is kind of a pay to complete. Just like drugs, they hook you with this, ooh, the first episode is free, but then you fell in love with the characters, and then you just want to see where the story goes, so you buy the second episode, and then you have to buy you know, all, all, the, all the five episodes, uh, and then just buy the prequel, and then the sequel, that isn't actually a sequel, and then a spin-off. What I'm trying to say is, I make terrible decisions with my money. I feel like I'm rambling and just missing the whole point of this video. So are pay to win video games bad for casual players? Yes, yes they are. But remember this, behind the pay to win video games, there is a bunch of developers, artists, creative people just working on this game for hours on end so you can enjoy them. If you don't like pay to win video games, 
the easiest thing to do is uh, not play them. Find another game. Maybe uh, play something else for a, a week. Try civilization. Or maybe just play them a little bit. And if you just spend 300, 400 hours, drop a little bit of cash on those guys, right? Because they, they, they need to work hard for their servers or I don't know what they need to spend money on. I, honestly, I'm not sure what this video was. So that's it. If you stuck around to the end and you enjoyed it, please like this video and let me know in the comments. What do you think about pay to win video games? In the next video, we are going to be talking about why the Lord of the Rings extended version isn't long enough. All right, I agree with that one. I'll see you there. Bye.